Welcome, my friends, to these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd Jesus, and we continue our series on change as we learn how to win the war of change. And I read from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Dear friends, I urge you as aliens and temporary residents in the world to abstain from the desires of the sinful flesh which war against your soul. There are two more reasons uh, we find it difficult to put off our sinful actions. I gave you two reasons yesterday, and here are two more. One, because our defense mechanisms have a payoff. Whatever is rewarded gets repeated. Your defense mechanisms may mask your pain, cover up fear, or give you an excuse to fail or compensate for guilt. That might be your payoff. They often work in the short term, but in the long run, these patterns will destroy you. And another is that Satan discourages us. Once you start trying to change something in your life, Satan will begin saying, who do you think you are? You're never going to change. You haven't been able to change in the past. Why do you think you're going to change now? It's hopeless. It's not going to work. Those thoughts and fears are being planted in your mind by the devil himself. These things keep us from changing the hurts and habits and hang-ups that we know are unhealthy. So what does it take to alter these deep patterns in our lives? Well, the Bible says to throw these patterns away and let the Holy Spirit renew our way of doing things. Since indeed you've heard of him and were taught in him, since the truth is in Jesus. As far as your former way of life is concerned, you were taught to take off the old self, which is corrupted by its evil desires and to be rewarded continually in the spirit of your mind, and to put on the new self, which was created to be like God in righteousness and holiness. What if I fall short, though? It's not if you fall short, but when you will fall short. It does happen. But those sinful choices don't have to take over your life. You can deal with them quickly. Repent. God is faithful and will forgive you. Then chart a new course. As the battle rages on, just remember, as a follower of Christ, your home is in heaven. You didn't earn eternal life in paradise, and you know it. Instead, you are trusting in the death of Jesus as the payment for your sins. And it motivates you every day to say no to sin as you abstain from sinful desires. These desires will war against your soul until the day your body dies. But the eternal victory has already been secured by your Savior at the cross. Join me in prayer. Help me, Lord, day by day, to live in the eternal victory won for me by Jesus, by putting off the sin that wars within me. Amen. Well, my friends, you've already won the war. Christ has given you the victory. But the battle isn't over yet. Keep fighting that war against your sin so that you change to be like Jesus.